So right now I literally look a little bit crazy or like I'm a dread. But um, on the days where I'm off in order to have like a super productive day, I have to really get up and get ready, which is what I'm about to do right now. I literally just woke up and I'm about to go in the bathroom and do my hair. Yesterday when I washed my hair, I had just... Um, Put it in some twists because I wasn't sure what route I was going to take in terms of styling my hair. Oh, this is what my nails look like. But um, today I have a super productive day planned out. And in order to take full advantage of my productivity or to really be productive, I have to get up early, um, get ready, feel good about myself so I can get the day started and um, the day ending in an actual super productive day. Also tomorrow I have a productive day planned where I'm going to have to um, wake up early yet again. So I'm going to have to go to bed early today. So I'm going to have to wake up early and go all the way to the Bronx. So um, to kickstart the day, I'm going to get my hair together and then um, make a few calls that are related to today being a productive day. And then I'm probably going to start heading out. Today I'm going to drop my laundry off so they can get washed because the bag is getting bigger. And um, I'm not, I'm, I want to call the laundromat first to hear what their rate is for the drop-off service. Because that last place that I went to with the bag that cost the $52, there was theirs was $0.95 cents a pound. And I feel like that is so ridiculous. So, um, I want to, so I have two places to call. I have to call the laundromat and this other place. So I want to call them before I go because if it's too much money, I'm going to just go wash the clothes myself because they still have some soap and some softener and stuff. It's just that it's going to take a huge chunk of my day to really just sit and wash the clothes when I could drop it off and like go do some, go do some other stuff. So I'm trying to do that. Oh, uh, Yeah. So right now, I'm going to jump into the bathroom and like get my hair together, shower, come back out, make a strong cup of coffee. Lately, I've been making my coffee like, you know how espresso is strong? Is espresso strong? I think espresso is stronger. I've been making the coffee super strong where I put like two spoons of the coffee inside of the cup. I think the coffee that I have is Maxwell House. Yeah, which is a good coffee. So I put two small spoons of the coffee of the coffee inside of the cup and then I put like a small amount of milk and then I put like a little bit of water so it's not too much coffee where it's like a little bit weak and really sweet it's like a small amount where it's strong and barely sweet so kind of like black coffee but I feel like black coffee is disgusting so it's not fully black coffee but um yeah I'm gonna go do all I just said I was gonna do update and maybe most people with natural hair has this struggle so after I took the twists out and pretty much used my brush through it this is what my hair looks like so big I can't even put it in a ponytail which is why most times my hair stays the same way so now I'm gonna have to go in the shower and actually like wet it up and hopefully tie it down in hopes that it dries by the time I'm ready to go on the road which is another annoying thing about my hair but um yeah, because just now I tried to put it up and this is where we're at. So I finally got my hair done. I'm wearing just a sleek, kind of low puff. Um, now I'm going to make some of that strong coffee I spoke about earlier and call up a few of the places because right now it's 7.53. So pretty much 8 o'clock where everything should be open by now. One of the places I'm going to have to wait until I think 9.30 to call them, but... Excuse me, at least one of them I could call now. So I'm going to do that and then figure out the rest of the day from there on. And hopefully my hair dries. Hopefully my hair dries. I don't like wet hair if I have to be outside. I also need to check the weather because my friend had mentioned to me that this week was going to be really nice. Really nice. I don't know. Right now it's 49 degrees. But, um, at least I have the whole rest of the day to still do the things that I want to do. So, um, yeah. Guys, so today was not the most super productive day, but I did manage to get, um, something done. I'm, I just came back from the Dollar Tree and I, um, got some 
like just bits and bobs of stuff that I needed for the apartment. I got bleach and toilet paper and just regular household stuff. And I did get some cash back too because I'm going to drop the laundry off in a little bit. I probably should have done it for morning. But then um, the bags are big so I asked Dwayne if he could come home early and like drop them off. So at least I could save on the cost of like the Uber and he said yes. Yeah. So I'm waiting for him to come so... He could drop those off and then um i bought this sort of thing for the back of my phone because the one that's on there is super slack so i'm gonna swap it out but um today was pretty much a day where you know you sit and just evaluate stuff and think about stuff and just see in bed honestly but yeah I did cook. Oh, I need to make some rice. That's what I was forgetting. I need to make some rice so I can have lunch. So I'm going to do that now. So yesterday I forgot to end the vlog and I was editing it just now and realized that it just kind of stopped somewhere. Didn't really make any sense. So this is me ending the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.